Good morning. It's Tuesday. Can you see my road track out there? I'm doing a little uh, stealth camping, a little driveway camping at a condo in Florida. Here's a little better view of it. See, it's pretty unobtrusive out there. And we slept just great. For now, it's still a little bit of a mystery why I'm here. Maybe I'll tell you that part of the story uh, later in the week. Maybe not. We'll see. But this is the view. So my advice to you is uh, don't, though, try driveway camping unless you're pretty sure it's okay, that nobody is going to object. Don't just pull into a strange place and do that. I should also confess uh, that Jennifer's still in the road track. She's uh, still in there, sound asleep, sleeping in. Okay, here's some feedback about the uh, vlog. Should I keep doing it? I asked for feedback yesterday. Roger, he doesn't think so. He thinks it's just more the same and boring. Tom likes it. He says, besides the glitz and glamour of RV, you've just shown some of the neat things, the real adventures that happens on RV trips. Brian says, keep on doing. He says, your videos have been invaluable. He says, uh, please know nothing you're doing is wasted. Thank you, Brian. Phil says, please keep it up. I'm especially interested in where you camp, particularly where you boondock. Well, there you go, Phil. I showed you today. Dave likes it. He says he finds them interesting. Maureen says, keep it up. She says, it doesn't have to be every day. She likes spontaneity. Walter likes it when I talk about the things that happen on the road, like the breaking handle the other day and when things go wrong that I didn't expect. I've got a couple of others that have happened. I'll tell you later. And Jan says she likes it, especially the highway footage. She likes to travel vicariously like that. Well, thank you, Jan. And a bunch more uh, feedback. Everybody seems to be positive. Uh, just that one negative one so far. So, I don't know. You seem to like it. About a thousand people a day. So, thank you, everybody, for sending those in. I've had a bunch more, and um, almost everybody seems to like this, uh, this vlog idea. So, let me think about it again. And what I think I, I, right now I ought to try is answering questions. This is a great way. I could answer maybe a question a day that you send me in, and uh, that wouldn't be too much work. So as Florida wakes up, I'll um, figure out what I'm going to do with all this. I'll read some more of your responses and be back at you later in the day. But right now, i got to go take a walk on that beach. Okay, here's the tease about why we're here. Taking wallpaper off. Hmm, wonder why. Jennifer looks like she has everything under control, so I think I'll just spend some time down here. No, he doesn't. If he gets to play, so do I. Seriously, though, this is why we love the Emerald Coast. Can you see how beautiful this water is? It is gorgeous. We're spending the night in our road trek, maybe a hundred yards from this beach. That is pretty good. Boondocking, right here. Ah, but I know you're all asking, how can you do that? Well, that's part of the secret that I'm not telling you about, at least not just yet. All right, we got a barbecue to go to with some other road trekkers uh, who live down this way. Okay, that's our road trek in the driveway of Kathy and Les Chanteau's house in Navarre, Florida. We're here to have a barbecue. There's Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Hello. And uh, most importantly there is Gulf of Mexico sweet shrimp, jumbo shrimp, corn, roasted asparagus, chicken, steak down there. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So here's how you can tell a hospitable road trekker. At their house in Florida, they have 30 amp power. So you can power your rig in the driveway. And here's the Chanteaus, there's my power. And I am plugged in, ready to go. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>